Over the years, the Special Anti-Robbery Squad of the Nigeria Police Force, SARS, has been accused of committing human rights violations, including extortion, unlawful arrests, torture, and extrajudicial killings. Today marks the 10th day since Nigerian youths embarked on peaceful protests across the country, with the hashtag End SARS calling for an end to SARS and police reforms in Nigeria. The protest, which began online, led to street protests in cities across Nigeria and across the world. After days of nationwide protests, SARS was disbanded and all protests in FCT Abuja were banned on President Muhammad Buhari's order. The federal government, however, said the disbanding of SARS was the first step in its commitment to extensive police reforms, adding that all alleged abuses and brutality would be investigated and dealt with. Despite disbanding SARS and setting up a new Special Weapons and Tactics Unit, protesters defy nationwide ban and demonstrations are continuing. In Lagos, from Leki to Suruleri, Ikorodu and Alausa Ikeja, youths are not backing down in the fight as the daily protest has now left major roads gridlocked, causing motorists and commuters to spend longer hours on the road. While some protesters have been seen sleeping at protest sites, Others have dedicated themselves to denoting food, water, soft drinks and medical aid. In Lagos, the peak of the protest was on Friday, the night day, where Muslim protesters held their Jumat prayers at the protest ground. This was followed by a candlelight service, where thousands gathered at the Lagos State House of Assembly Drive, Alausa, in honor of those who lost their lives to SARS killings. <laughs> Earlier in the week, while addressing the protesters at the Lekki toll gate, Lagos State Governor Babajide Sonwolu said his government will compensate families of victims of SARS killings in the state. The elderly were not left out as some of them also lent their voices in the fight. We are entitled to protest. We are all And you must complain. If things don't go well with you, you can protest peacefully. They will listen to you. While we are protesting for NSAC, lay a solid foundation. Because they are going to put something in place. I'm already hearing SWAT. For information means special weapons and tactical team. The name tells you that it's likely to be deadlier than Exxon. However, we must prepare. I agree with them. Because I have young people. I have grandkids. And they are all going through the same thing. The penalty is too much, the death is too much, the unwarranted harassment is too much. It looks as if there is no law guiding their operation. So let's dismantle it. Let's, if we are going to put anything fresh, let uh, an organized, a constituted body draft out the rules of a game so that you can take up anybody that goes out of the regulation. There must be a feedback mechanism. If whatever they put does something that is out of the normal, there must be a process where you can locate the person and seek redress. There must be applied punishments. There must be social psychologists to train and retrain them so that they know what to do when they interface with the public. That's my take on it. But SAS has to we just have to view something that is more effective. That's all. On Saturday morning, protesters across the country gathered at different sites to pray for Nigeria. <laughs> As 
As youths do not trust the promises of the government on reforms, when will they put an end to the protests? Oh, 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 oh.